Hi what's up everybody. Welcome back to Black Bronx channel. Hope you're having a good day. Today we going to do this. I want to talk about how to do realistic ice with redshift in Cinema 4D. So let's get started. First, let's create basic shape. I choose cube. Next, I need to increase segment value for X, Y and Z at 50. I used shortcut key N and P to reveal the segment line. Now you can see the segments line is visible. Let's enable fillet. I drop the value to 10 cm. Let's hide back the segment line by hit shortcut N and C. Let's apply displacer to our cube. Go up to deformer menu here and select displacer. Here you need to put displacer child under the cube. Under drop down menu here select noise. Let's adjust the noise value by increase global scale up to 500%. Now we got realistic ice cube shape. Now it's time to set up lighting for our scene. Let's go up to Redshift menu, and under Lights, select Dome Light. Next, let's apply HDRI link to our Dome Light. Under Dome Light setting, we need to drag Dome Map to our HDRI link. Now our Dome Light and HDRI link is linked together. Now you can choose any suitable HDRI from our library here. Let's create ice material to our cube. Here I used basic redshift material. We need do some tweak for our material. Double click our material icon to view shader graph. Set refraction weight to 1. Now our cube look like glass. Under IOR value, we need to use real IOR value for ice. Here I got website name pixelandpoly.com that share IOR value. Click alphabet I for ice and it will direct to ice shader. Here you can see value for ice which is 1.309. Let's apply to our material. Next, let's apply ice texture. Here you can type word texture, and add texture node to our shader graph. You need to link out color of texture node to reflection roughness for our main material. Now we ready to apply ice texture. You can download ice texture from website texture4photoshop.com. I already downloaded, so let's apply it. Now you can see the roughness is too much. We can adjust the value by enable gamma override and adjust the gamma value.
I think 4.5 should be okay. Here you already have a basic realistic ice shader. You can see the detail of ice scratches. Next you can add some crack line by create simple plane. I increase segments value up to 50. Here I just duplicate previous displacer from cube to our plane. Let's adjust the noise value by decreasing little bit value for global scale. 200% should be okay. I'm applying same ice material to our plane. Next, you need to apply bool to our objects. I put both object child under bool. Now you got realistic crack line for our eyes. You also can adjust position of the crack line by moving the plane object. Alright everyone thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys learned some cool techniques, and as always be sure to check out other tutorials in my channel. Like always, hit subscribe button and hit notification bell to get latest update from me. And we will see you next time.